Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing the painful reality for the dumper. I provide audio coaching for breakup recovery, trying to get an ex back, attracting someone new, and life coaching. Visit www.dateme.tips for more details. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. Check out my socials for extra content. The links are in the description. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing the painful reality for the dumper. So if you have been dumped and want to try to get your ex back, you might think that your ex is loving their life. The reality though can be very different. In today's podcast, I'll be discussing three reasons why the reality for your dumper can be painful. So let's get straight into this. And point number one is they risk losing it all. Now, as a dumpy, you're obviously going to be looking at things from your perspective. You've been dumped, you're heartbroken, you're probably not going to be seeing your ex for dumper in the best light, even though you probably want them back. You might want them back, but you don't see them as a wonderful person right now because they've hurt you. They've quite possibly blindsided you. You perhaps didn't see this coming. You're not, as I said, going to be seeing them necessarily in the best way, even though you want them back. So it's probably hard for you to put yourself in their position. But if you were to do so just for a moment, you can see that they have a really high possibility of losing it all. And this is the risk that they take. Now you, again, as a dumpy, We'll be looking at this and thinking, well, they didn't have to do this. And this is entirely the point. They didn't have to end the relationship. Now, of course, I don't know your specifics. I don't know the unique circumstances. Maybe there is a reason why your expert dumper had to make this choice. And even though you might not see them as having to make the choice, them, themselves, your expert dumper, would have lost romantic emotional attraction for whatever reason that was and felt it was necessary. If they didn't feel it was necessary, they wouldn't have actually had a breakup. But putting that to one side, what we are saying here is they didn't technically have to end a relationship when there was somebody there, you, the dumpy, who wanted to remain in the relationship. You, if you want your ex back, presumably never wanted it to end. So therefore, your ex, the dumper, didn't have to end the relationship. And this is what we're talking about here in point number one. They risk losing it all. It's like they've gone to the casino and they've decided to put all of their money on red or black, and now they're waiting for it to spin round to see whether they win or whether they lose. And losing would be that they never find a romantic relationship that fulfills them. Now, unfortunately, they've ended your relationship because they didn't feel that fulfillment at the time of a breakup, but I would imagine that they once did. Because if they never did feel that connection with you, they would have never been in a relationship with you full stop. So what that shows is your connection did have, at least in the past, it had a lot of good things about it. That's why you two were together. So if we consider it in this way, we can imagine that it's possible for you to reconnect. We can imagine that it's possible to regrow that attraction, to regrow that vibe. And so from your perspective, as I'm sure you're thinking right now, but from a perspective of others, including your ex dumper, there is a possibility that you two are a good match because you were before. So they've decided to go to this metaphorical casino. They bet on red or black, you know, whichever we're going to pretend that it was, and now they're waiting for it to spin round and to see whether it lands because they've made the choice to move forward on a different path. And if they don't find anybody who they deem to be a better match, well, it could be argued that they've lost it all. When it's Christmas Day, when it's New Year's Eve, when it's their birthday, when it's whatever day on the calendar might mean something really special to you and your now ex, if they aren't with anybody special, that is going to pull on them, just as I am sure Satellite does to you right now, just as you don't necessarily look forward to those days if you're not in a relationship, well, your ex dumper is not going to want to be alone either. And that's the point. That's the point of point number one. It is a risk. It is a gamble. They've had something in the past. It's not quite worked out, unfortunately, from their perspective. And they've just ended things rather than trying to solve a problem, 
rather than trying to work through things, rather than trying to maintain the relationship, they've decided to end the connection with you, go on their own path and risk it all. Because if they don't find anybody who is a better fit, who is a better connection, who is somebody who fulfills them, then what was the point in ending the relationship? This is the risk. This is the situation that they now find themselves in. Now, I'm not expecting you dumpies to feel sorry for your ex. Like we've said, they've made their choice. The whole analogy of you've made your bed, you now need to lay in it. But it is just interesting to see and to think and to consider. Because as dumpies, we often feel that our ex is living this incredible life. Maybe we've seen it on social media. Maybe somebody's told us that they saw our ex and they seem really, really happy. But the truth is, this is just a moment in time. It's just a second, a minute. It doesn't necessarily represent what they're going through day to day. It doesn't necessarily represent when they're coming home alone, sitting in front of a TV and doing nothing at all. So don't let socials, don't let friends of friends, don't let anybody make you think that your ex is living this incredible life. Because the reality is, they're most likely to be single. From my research, most dumpers do not find a new long-term compatible person within the first year or so post-breakup. Often it's much longer than that. Two, three, four years. This is a long period of time to be living alone when they didn't necessarily have to. And will they ever find someone who gave them the love that you did? It's not guaranteed. And therefore we can see and start to understand the painful reality for the dumper is, in point number one, they risk losing it all. It's a gamble, it's a risk. It's not necessarily the fact that they will find their happiness by leaving you, and hence we can see that it's not all roses for your ex, the dumper. So now let's get into point number two and the second point of today's podcast. Please like this video if you're watching on YouTube, and if you have a new hype feature, please hype this video as well. If you like my content, subscribe to the channel to keep updated. And point number two is by creating a better version of you. Now, you might be listening to this as a dumpy and thinking, what do you mean creating a better version of me? I feel terrible. I feel really upset. Maybe, for instance, like a lot of dumpies, your eating hasn't been as healthy as it used to be. Some dumpies put on a lot of weight through comfort eating. Some dumpies lose a lot of weight because they don't feel they can eat anything at all. Either way, you're probably not a healthy weight right now. This is something you need to be trying to focus on amongst everything else that you're going through. Your mind is in turmoil. And therefore, when I'm saying in point number two that they're creating a better version of you, you're probably shocked and misunderstanding what I mean. But I'm talking in the long term. And the long term prospects of dumb peas is really, really good. Most dumb peas, although you're going through the grind right now, will come through and out the other side of that dark, bleak tunnel. You've got to keep moving forward. If you stand still, you will never do it. You've got to keep going through that dark bleak tunnel, but you will come out the other side into the light of happiness. And when you do, you will become a version 2.0 of yourself. You will be somebody who was better in every single way than your expert dumper knew. And this is another one of the points of today's podcast about the painful reality for the dumper is that they end the relationship with you as version one, and yet the person that you will likely become, version 2.0, is not someone that they are with. So they, in essence, have created a situation which is probably and hopefully going to cause you the motivation to go through self-improvement. Now, I'm not saying it's completely down to you as to why this relationship didn't last the test of time. I'm not putting all of that blame on you, but what I am saying is motivation is likely found in human beings when we're going through difficult times. Most people who are living lives that they would deem as somewhat okay are going to find it much harder to be motivated to get to the next level. So what I am saying is that although I'm not putting blame on whoever caused the breakup per se, what I am saying is that they've ended the relationship, you're heartbroken, and you are more likely to use that pain as fuel to push yourself forward. You might not feel that way now, you might not feel that way in six months, but you will get to the point, hopefully sooner rather than later, hopefully I can motivate you sooner than that, but you will get to that point where you do start growing. When you do start growing, you will become a better person than your expert dumper ever knew. 
Ironically, you could be a person physically, mentally, spiritually, skillfully, in all ways, your expert dumper certainly feels more connected with. And this is why, incidentally, that dumpers are more likely to want to come back to you if you do go through that self-improvement. So if you want to get your ex back, this is exactly what you need to be doing. But here is the reason as to why it can be painful for the dumper. Because although that might sound kind of great, okay, yes, I've left my ex, but now they're an even better person. Well, that's great. I can just go back to them. But what if they can't? And this is where, as a dumpy, you might find this somewhat surprising for me to say, but lots of dumpies turn down their ex. Lots of dumpies turn down their dumper. You might think that you'll never turn them down. You might think you would never say no. You might think if your ex contacted you, you would definitely say yes, please come back now. But that's because you're listening to this at the stage of where you are still craving your ex. And if you keep moving forward in a positive way, becoming a better person today than you were yesterday and a better person tomorrow than you are currently today, you will get to that stage of where you're no longer craving your ex to the point of where if they reach out to you, you're definitely going to accept what they say and reconnect. No, in actuality, what is likely to happen is if your expert dumper reaches out to you in the future when you've gone through your self-improvement, you're probably going to be keeping your options open because you will now be attracting better people than your expert dumper. Now, remember what I said a moment ago. When you feel that your life is going somewhat okay, it's much harder to find the motivation to push on. That is where your expert dumper falls in. They feel their life is kind of going okay. They ended your relationship. They didn't really blame themselves per se. They're moving forward kind of okay. It's not great. It's not amazing. It's kind of all right. And that is why they don't find that motivation to go through self-improvement. So they're probably going to be very similar to the person that you remember, but you are not going to be very similar to a person that they remember. You have improved. They haven't. What does this mean? You are getting more and more attention from new people. New people are showing you attention, and some of those people you would not have been able to attract back in the day because the version one of yourself wouldn't have been attractive to these new people, but the version 2.0 is. They are higher value. You are higher value. These are the people that you can now connect with. Your expert dumper decides to contact you. Guess what? Even though you can't believe I'm saying this right now, you turn your dumper down. You decide to give a relationship a try with someone new, someone who hasn't hurt you, someone that seems more physically, mentally, and spiritually attractive to you compared to your dumper. You don't see it coming, but it happens, and you decide to give it a try. And this is why in point number two, when we're talking about painful realities for your dumper, they are, in a sense, making you a better person. But what this means is they're making you a better person for someone else. It's not even for them. So this is that painful reality. They've left you. They've seen you from afar grow as a person. They've decided they want to come back. And now you are that better person. You've turned them down and you're dating someone that they look at and think, well, they're better than me. And that is a painful reality for dumpers. They can't understand how when you were together, you were version one. They leave you, you become version two. And not only that, when they want to come back, you say thanks, but no thanks. I'm going to go with this other person that they recognize as being better than themselves. That is a real painful reality for dumpers. Now, if you would like advice and support about how to try and increase the chance of one day getting your ex back, then you may want to consider my audio coaching service where me and you can speak one-on-one -on -one about your unique specific situation. Go to my website, www.dateme.tips for more information about how I can become your coach and your teammate via my audio coaching service. Talking about your feelings can also improve your mental health. It helps prevent the buildup of negative emotions, which can lead to stress, anxiety, depression, and even physical health issues. Speak your heart to free your mind. So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast. If you feel that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. And point number three is they're treated with suspicion. So today we're speaking about the painful reality for the dumper. And point number three is that they will always be treated with suspicion 
in new relationships. And new relationships would also count if you two did get back together. Now, remember in point number two, I said that you would likely grow as a person. They would likely get to the stage of where they want to reach out again, and you might turn them down. Well, that doesn't always have to be the case. You might decide you want to give your ex the dumper a chance. You might decide you would still like to reconnect. But this is a situation where you will then see them and look at them with suspicion. But you'll be thinking, well, we were together. You then randomly blindsided me and dumped me. I don't know if I fully trust you. And this is going to be something which causes the dumper challenges. There's going to be trust issues between you. Now, if you want to get your ex back, you need to both forgive one another. It's the only way forward. You can't carry suspicion with you. But just because I'm saying that you can't, it doesn't mean that you won't. This is going to be a challenge. Now, if you and your ex don't get back together, or maybe you do in the future, but before that point, they do go on a date with somebody else, this is something which sadly could take place, but they might still reconnect with you later down the line. But anyway, if they do date someone else again, they will be judged with suspicion. Because when they talk about their relationship history, like everybody does when they meet someone new, and they have to get to that point where they say, yeah, I ended my last relationship. Well, as soon as somebody hears that, they're thinking, why? You know, why did you end your last relationship? And they're thinking to themselves, is this person going to dump me? Do I even give them a chance? Are they somebody who doesn't commit to relationships? Are they someone who doesn't give things a try? Do they believe in throwaway culture? Are they just going to end things without any effort? Are they not going to put in the work? Are they a quitter? This is what someone new is going to be thinking. So whether it is you, because your expert dumper has come back, or whether it is somebody else, your expert dumper is going to be treated with suspicion when it comes to new relationships. Why did you end your last relationship? Whether you're thinking, well, it was me, and I find it even more painful because you want to come back and I don't trust that you won't just do this again. Or if it's someone new who's thinking, I don't know if I want to give this person a chance. Because if we hit one small bump in the road, they're just going to dump me. Whoever it is, you, somebody new, your expert dumper will be treated with suspicion. And this is definitely a painful reality for your dumper.